since even longer. They played IHC in complexity back at Rio, so not even EU teams. They're about to get a reality check. Na'Vi on the T side is the one thing that could give Zero Zero Nation a bit of a bump, and they're going to need it. Yeah, I think that's what's going to, you know, potentially end up hurting so much about Ancient being as close as it was. It felt like it was going to be one of these required maps. I think if Zero Zero Nation wanted to win, uh, at least in my eyes, they had to do it in three, you know, and Overpass should be safe for Na'Vi. So this is a pretty tall task ahead of Zero Zero Nation now. Slow com walk for Na'Vi. They've got the bomb over at the uh, T ramp as well. But able to stay mobile here. Dumao finds the opener. Na'Vi were never that dedicated to the A anyway. This bomb was ready to go B. The util starts to rain in. Double nade back in the spawn to try and bring the planter out of the round. And that could be big considering Zero Zero Nation currently He's lead five to it. three. Oh no, he went back. <laughs> he pulled out, waited for the nades and then they came as he went for the plant. That's unfortunate. Yeah, man. I mean, like, if you're pulling out just to dip back in. Woo, hang on, MPL. Whoa. Three out of five in the yeah, round. Yeah, you want to make your crew joke or no, you want to see the 1v5? Not today. Got nipple to look at. Damn right. Yeah, that's a, a nice pistol round. I mean, Na'Vi realized it, right? That's because they got the sight for free, because they had all that room. Bit, you guess, like, okay, they must be throwing nades. Unfortunately, they actually just threw them a little late, which was right on time. So well, that's what the bomb plant has helped them to field. And so now they might look all the better for it. NQZ's got his on the other side. Ooh, but the first kill is found by Electronic, but a spam and a nade goes a long way. Jiggle me again. He's uh, he's a bit of a beast at the monster side, is Electronic. And with the form he's in right now, I don't know if I'd want to face him there anytime soon. Next learns about it the hard way, and now NQZ scoped up with this AWP on short, waiting for someone to cross into his line of fire. Cold Zera moving out, is dealt with by MPL down Whoa, in corner. Now they chase nice. the AWP as well. Lovely reaction out of Na'Vi. They turn Zero Zero Nation's little info gathering mission against them. And they've used this to extend the advantage into the five on two. Sure, they had those missed smokes on MPL, which, you know, Zershan wasn't loving last map. But I, I think he's actually played a really good series so far. Uh, was reliable in that last map. And even there, plays his role perfectly, doesn't overface. Hits that wall bang on the AWP. And that was such info for Electronic to chase down the kill. Plus, it slowed the AWP down on the retreat. So Na'Vi have uh, bled kills out of B, and now they go up connector, and this is all being heard, right? Zero Zero Nation know they've lost the round. They're just gonna look to save their guns on lower. Na'Vi sprint in and get that stick. Five alive so far, that's not a bad round. Keep it clean, keep it clinical. Don't let anything start to slip away in the last few moments. Same could be said, of course, for the CTs now as well, just saving on the bottom of B. Now, if he's shifting their way back around, keeping their eyes open, just in case there is an opportunity to punish, won't overextend too far. So it should be a bit of a stalemate here, as Na'Vi will pick up their first round on the T side. Wondering where Perfecto's gun is. He'll find one. There it is. He didn't want to save the double orb. M4 there. Oh, simple dope, please. Oh <laughs> Out of ammo. Thank goodness. Do now. The wide Ooh. swing is too much, but it's not the end of the world. And they might find one more. No. Hey, you keep something. Lato gets his gun out, and now Na'Vi on the board. Yeah, it didn't take long for them to arrive on the scene, right? And it leaves quite an impression from about trying to push and prod some of the extremities down towards B, right? The results went wholeheartedly against them there. This is where Na'Vi need to try and build, right? They can get on the board early in a very meaningful way if they win this follow-up round. Zero Zero Nation might have to buy, but it's missing a good few of the bells and whistles. There's no AWP, limited util as well, so they're having a bit more scarce with that. And if Dumao dies over here at mid, that's one of the only players with nades falling out of the gate. So he kind of needs to succeed. He represents a big investment for the CT side, and he's getting cleared all the way around the world. Doom out dead, and that full belt of util never even gets used. 
in a round where you had severe limitations coming in, stuff like that really matters. Lato trying to leave, drops this smoke, and Bit will miss the timing as a result. So he's done well to get out, but it's like another way of looking at it. That was the one smoke that you had, and it had to go down defensively just to keep a 4v5. Still with 45 seconds left and nothing to really slow down a play other than this molly on NQZ. This is a really good spot for Na'Vi to be in. Info play out for Lato. He's seen the shadow. Lines up onto the head as well. So Perfecto's been punished bit with the battle back, but NQZ, man's going off with the Famous, just the one frag, and Cold Zera. He's warmed up, he's hot and heavy. We saw it in the previous map, but right now he kind of is the last line of defense towards A. Problem is the bomb's on the back a bit and it is scurrying far oh away. Oh my God, that's a crazy rotate to make. And he's actually gonna get the plant. He, if he just sticks it straight up, he's won the Ooh. round, or at least set them up to do so. 2v2, they are low. Zero, zero nation, very good odds in this retake, but they've got no kit and they've got no nades. Na'Vi looking to find the right fights, and you can see how timid zero, zero nation are as well. They're clearing CT. They don't have the clock for this. Na'Vi still looking for kills. They can isolate it now. They know it's coming from both CT. Forget that kit. It is not part of the equation. It's cold on the ground. And this round could be going the same way as well. MPL ready for the first phase. Zero walks into him and there's nothing more to be done. Oh. Even if you find the frags, it won't amount to anything. Na'Vi with two. Beautiful rotate for Bit, man. There were seconds on that one and he was 10 health or 20 health when he did it. So very risky mid-round move, but he makes it. He slips the net and he gets that plant that wins Na'Vi. Another gun round. Timing on it as well, man. Like even the shot. Play that retake because you are on the clock and your opponent can play as passive as they want. They'll hear you running down and they'll just hold you. Unfortunate stuff. Now just pistols. I've actually never seen this boost, I don't think. That's a really cool angle. You're obviously very riskily open to the wide peak, but in terms of getting party damage off, especially with the silencer, hey, it's cool. Have you seen this one, Harry? Look at this. He's peaking party. Like, that's normal, but that, that angle that's is pretty, cool. Yeah, it's a pretty yeah. nice tidy little lang, isn't it? It's just high risk. It's, it's a good eco strat. But, I mean, he's going to get headshot. Yeah, it's simple. I wonder if they know there's another guy. <laughs> no, he's just really Maybe tall. Lato is just nine feet. Of course, that would make one player model only four and a half foot tall. Lato Adultman, you know, he's just uh, three kids in a trench coat. Off Loves the, business. Yeah, business factory off to it right oh, now. Oh, yeah, always working at the business factory. Long day at work. Ooh, and they're both free. So three yeah. is it for Na'Vi. There you go, this is par for the course, and that's why this first rifle round that was, oh, sorry, the, the, the first and I guess then subsequent rifle round to follow was so important, right? Like chaining them together in that fashion right out of the gate for Na'Vi mattered a lot. You know, it's put the Zero Zero Nation squad on this back foot. And, and this this pressure never really goes away as, uh, as a CT, right? You need to chain a couple of clean rounds together to fully alleviate it. So that's what it looks like from Simple's POV over towards the connector. Peak for NQZ. Maybe a bit of misinfo. He thinks he cleared mid. In reality, Bit was super far up on the left-hand side, and so it's throwing all the mental timings off. The kind of mental image that NQZ has of the map is it is a bit of a lie, really. In his mind, uh -oh. they're not up short yet, but they are. They're right here. That's a, he doesn't know how good of a reposition that was going long, but now they're kind of trapped out on an island. Flash is getting flung at them. Na'Vi encroaching quickly. Simple might be dead, though. That's a massive kill because it gives them the long control. If they want to re-aggress, that would help. But Na'Vi, either way, are grouping back down on B. Dumal's rotate isn't a worry yet because he should go back when they realize. And yeah, he's just stuck in heaven. Na'Vi have gone quiet. That's the cool. And so Zero Zero Nation are ready for a B hit. Oh. Oh, 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 oh okay. Famous. God damn, he's going famous with the Famous. That's what you want to see. So four versus three. The Molly's been dashed out as well. 
Burning a bit of time off the clock, wasting the push. They can't go up short, debating now where they actually want to take this. They're scurrying back up through connector. You've got the two players set up on toilets. The Orp's watching it. He dives around the corner. Has he done his trigger? Not oh. the tree. Misses with the trigger, but Lato at least tries to claw it back. Scratches his way through the first. Dives towards the truck, holding with support from Cold. On the re-peak, it's too little, too late. MPL hits the head. 2v2 now. The flank from Dumal, again. The oh. Famous not going big this time. Solid gold, but not bold enough. All on cold Zira. M4 in his hands. Knows he's got to speed this one up a bit. Looking for the peak. They dash out the molly, the waste of time. Try and secure the round. He's pushing in, but he's taken so much damage. Sees the first in toilets, and this is just a mind game. Waste the time, lure him in, and then finish him off in the trap. Ooh, if only he had the ammo. He's got to chase his kill, but the round's already won, and he didn't realize. Cold Zero gone. That's a beautiful post plant for Na'Vi. Both their post plants, uh, you know, their, their 2v2s or 2v1s have been really clean. The molly comes in, you could argue, early, but as long as no one faces, Cold Zero's time is completely wasted, and he can't just sit on default. It actually forces him to hunt the kill, which just puts him further away from the bomb. And with no kit, there was no way. So lovely round out of Na'Vi. Again, these late rotations. That was a 3v4 when they get... So it's a pretty big ask right now for Zero Zero Nation. Boost up, nice, nice way to try and find the 5v4. Good timing for it as well, right? Bringing out a little gimmick, pick up the early advantage, run away content with your untradeable kill. And now Na'Vi may be feeling the pressure. They're going to try and reclaim a frag with Perfecto air, etching a path out through the short side. Both players spotted, but neither of them were ready to fight. And that's one that you're kind of thankful for if you're Zero Zero Nation. Get to hold on to this advantage. Look, smoke on A. Lato, he's a post-plant player right now. He is not going to play into this one at all. It's up to the AWP on the site. Oh, Lato activating. He has good timing, but Perfectos might be better. And this is why I said he was post-plant. Oh, the timings of these ones are so close. Perfecto is surely favored. He's going to get cleared, though. It looks like Lato patiently waiting. Perfecto yet to walk past. And neither of them know. Finally, it's given up. But Lato closed the angle. And that's it. All the better for him. NQC hits a shot on the site. Lato with a lovely flank. The Orbs found a double. And the backstab is trouble. Na'Vi don't know it. They're boxed in in a cage. And that's 25 to life. Four rounds now. Lovely play out of Lato. He, that, if he moved any earlier, that round falls apart. Na'Vi have no reason to be worried, though. Yeah, that's a feel-good moment, right? You had full control from the get-go. You found that man advantage. You had uh, the, the, the rotates well-timed back up into the A play. It felt very calm. North America, even though Liquid are more often found in EU these days, upsets galore. Yeah, there's some Latam lunacy going down at EPL today, and I'm living for it. It's exciting to see, especially with this game, giving us a couple of signs of life. Just like Harry was saying, though, you can't just have those one-off flashy rounds. It's all about sustainability. They've got to be repeatable. They've got to be something you can do again and again to get yourself in the course of the game and firmly keep yourself there. Bit of a different setup this time. Gravitating outside of B with Bit being a bit of a nuisance maker towards Long as well. Baits out the orb shot to get the info. I rip on him when he's having a bad game, so I must acknowledge MPL as I did earlier. 14 and 7. Fantastic work right now for the young player in playoffs as well. Sure, not the hardest opponent by any means that Na'Vi are going to have to take on in this run. But it's a damn good start. Let's see if they can keep it going. Four, oh, sorry, 5v5. Perfecto very low with the AWP now. It's going to be popping players out, Monster. Electronic. Oh, those are good flashes. He has faith in them. And even though he takes some leg shots, he gets out scot-free. Simple will die. Trying to go up B-short at the same time as so Na'Vi will reroute. And again, it's on Lato. Electronic is out of this round. He's so far removed, he's going to play into it far later. But so much now hinges nice. on these openers. And Na'Vi don't make a dent. 
Lato locks it in from the long side and the rotate from NQZ once again is well timed on that AWP, right? He's kind of in this swing roll, having to be the guy pivoting between the sights with the big green, but he's making it work right now. And so this is a feel good moment if you're zero zero nation. Feeling like you're finding the, the rhythm of the game again. You're starting to shut down some of these quintessential Na'Vi rounds, right? That one kind of don't get more Na'Vi than that. You know, you had the initial look in from Electronic out through Monster, selling the Lurk down towards B with a fast... Taking some liberties now, getting aggressive all the way through middle. I love it. Last time they did this, Na'Vi were ready for it. They clearly have the idea that... Zero Zero Nation like this mid pressure. Ooh. And with NQZ forced oh. back and away oh. off the angle, this could start to spiral, Careful. right? That, that split up these fights into two separate 1v1s. Simple should not be ready for <laughs> Doom now, and so that's an easy execution. But he can't hold the line versus Electronic. We're into the 2v2 now. But they can just keep getting shifted ahead of where Na'Vi expect. Look, he's not going to clear it. There was meant to be no one here. Cold Zero in a cubby. And now in a two on one, Perfecto. He's just left through the smoke. How deep does Perfecto go in this pre-plant? Two 1v1s op optioned, and Perfecto goes hunting. He finds Cold Zero. Should not know where next is coming from. He's so late on this rotate. It might actually help Perfecto get that plant, and he makes a ballsy call to go for short side. He doesn't expect the flank, and now he's onto the money. 1v1, nades, kit, but it's all about the kill. Perfecto needs to be pinpoint and patient. That he is. See, there's Util on next, but he doesn't oh, want to no. use it. He doesn't want to give away his position. The only thing he has is the element oh, of surprise. Yeah. So he's going to try and swing long, oh, and he will close crisp. it out. Nails that shot onto Perfecto and stops him in his tracks midway wow. through a clutch attempt. Wasn't going to be easy. Never had the info to play with. <laughs> But a good read on the situation, doing his due diligence and clearing out the other available post plants ahead of time. It serves him well. Now 0-0 zero, zero Nation sit up in the lead. I do think it's important to uh, to recognize, though, Na'Vi didn't bring a lot with them into yeah. this round, right? This was pistols. This was a hero AK. Yeah. Keep it tender. Nade with the spam, but it's all a bait for the AWP. Cold Zero missed shot. And PL goes back for more. Zero Zero Nation play a safer setup. A is looking good for Na'Vi. The AWP is still down lower, so it's going to get completely avoided in this gun round. Zero Zero Nation have, good, have had good A setup, uh, setups, though. Most of the time they've been trading out. And this is going to be a pretty fruitless round until Na'Vi go for this A hit. MPL has no reason to peek into this boost, really. Oh, he's going to go for it, though. Looks to clear short. I mean, they were there earlier. He wanted that fake out. Now the bomb's going down. Simple. Very dangerous play as well. Throwing in a Heaven Smoke. This is not going to be as much of a, a fake as Zero Zero Nation still have this short info. And Na'Vi now known as they go back up towards A. Finally their way. What? Oh, hello? Oh, the man's got a Gatto, and he's put it in the mouth of Electronic. Rips his head clean off. The four Needs versus that. three. Clap back from Perfecto with a wall bang, and now it's down to just two of them. They're not standing down. Cold zero with two. All on bit. Six seconds on the clock. Oh, my God. That was a mess for Na'Vi. That was a total mess. It's like and we had some of those rounds in the first map where someone gets loads of space. They call the bomb back, but then they die before it gets there. And, and you just kind of screw your bomb planter. That's super awkward. And this shot, to begin it all, that should have never connected for Lato. What? A little bit of luck goes a long way with a feisty flick. And Cold Zero... Rounds to realize the potential to kind of unleash that energy that you've built up. This is the goal for Na'Vi, right? Lose this... Obviously and not lose this round. Lose this All round. All right, guys, we're going to lose this round. No, 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 but you play under the assumption yeah. that you lose, right? So you can calculate your buys, and if you win, you always buy. So lose this round, do damage, keep it up, right? Get two, minimum two kills, get three kills preferably. Then you buy, you win it, and then they're broke for 15. So you actually go 8 7, and that's a really good half. That's the goal. How will it fare? Oh, Cole, the timing on that nade pull, it betrays him. Next has got to hold the line now. 
Two kills in the round. Molly over towards Short. Gonna force Perfecto out into the open. And so, next is sets the Dumao up for that frag. There is another man out the monster's side, but teeing himself up with a flash. That was meant to be the kill that brings him in. Instead, Dumao is the one. Take. If you, if you were at breaking point throughout the whole first half and you're constantly on the edge, but you never get broken critically, right? You never have like the full potential of this first half realized by your opponent, then yeah, this is a banging CT yeah, side. I mean, they, if they 10-5 this from being 5-3 oh, yeah, down yeah. And, and at breaking point the whole time, that's phenomenal for 0-0 zero, zero Nation. I more mean, as yeah, I agree with everything there, I, I more mean like not just great CT side numbers, but like the way they've been winning these rounds and the rounds that they have won have been very impressive. So, you know, like, yeah, just overall, keeping Na'Vi on their toes, keeping them competitive all map. That's easier said than done on a home map for Na'Vi. Boost up, that was a ding through the wall. And this is, sorry, just one more. This is just the, this is what Na'Vi have been waiting all half for. This has to be their best little pocket strat, their best play, it's gotta be now. Well, there we go. Electronic starts it, revving his engine in towards Monster, muddles up the first man. He keeps on pushing as well, dancing around the pole, waiting for the peak in. Bypasses oh. the first, flick onto the head, but Lato and Dumao, they work together in quick succession, but it's not going to be success in the round overall. The Galil will get gory as we drop down to just two. Lots of nades, that's the one benefit, but an orb here. It's not pretty, and they realize as well that Na'Vi have been punching at the bag that is their money all half. So, yeah, this I love this call for Zero Zero Nation. This is a really good save in a near impossible retake. So this is at least going to mean that Na'Vi's damage won't be as impactful as they would have wanted because they get away with these guns. And Lato should be able to drop over as well. So all in all... This is an even game, but Na'Vi will be getting out with a good T-side whether you like it or not. Lovely way to find it as well, right? Like talking uh, about when Zero Zero Nation kind of started to turn things around, I said like, yeah, it feels great because you repelled like a, a quintessential Na'Vi round with like Electronic trying to entry out Monster and then lurking back in the way. That but no, but it's still worth noting. Navi looking for that seven and the buy better than you could have asked for, considering this double save on zero zero. And again, the same play because it has been working. These monster setups have been away in for Navi. They got the nade kill with electronic spraying one round. He's popped through last round. You see, um, he has Perfecto has a bunch of nades as well. He's dropped over so. He's going to start lining them up. And you, you spray with the nade for extra damage. Not that one, but he will probably with the second. And, yeah, it's got them again. I mean, what do you expect? You, there's the same setup that they ran earlier. You get naded once, you get naded twice. Kind of surprising the next falls for that one. And now Perfecto is so free to fake. Yeah, he's really trying to sell this. Cold Zera up close, can hear him jumping around and he will isolate the fight. You know, I think once you see someone doing that over towards B, you assume that's the fake and that's not the real hit. And there's Lato holding the line, doing all he can. NQZ oh. missed the chance at the opener, but response. It was a solid defense, but this is where it gets Gets very hard, uh, oh. apparently. Ooh. Gets very hard Sorry, for everyone you, involved. I held your mute button yeah, down. Yeah, that's fine. I'll forgive I was you. just getting tired of hearing you talk. Right? Oh, well, I'm going to talk oh. on. Simple, by the way. He had five kills at the half. Let's keep that in the back of our okay. minds. He takes the first. Simple five kill Andy coming in to the second half of play. Already up on a six. So moving in the right direction. Upwards. Mm, and that's onwards. addition. Plus one. Can the man do a little bit of subtraction with the silence pistol, though? As we can see, the T side train wheels in motion, making their move up towards toilets. Yeah, 
going into this Aman down, though, it's going to be hard, right? Making some contact over towards Long. I think, if anything, you, you kind of hope they fight you here and give you a way to find the 4v4. You're not going to get a lot of contact, and instead, Na'Vi, their protocol is to take the bathrooms away now that they've seen numbers at Long. So, two now. Yeah, with him dead, this is rough now. 3v5 as they move in. Consistently adding to his tally, proving Hugo's point. Oh, takes the dink though, knocks the confidence slightly, but Electronics there to fight back and get a bit nasty. Tags are coming in, simple, still trying his luck. Swing after swing, NPL with the head, and that's the round done. A simple how, pistol. How do you ever expect to get through that setup? I mean, you have two in toilers, one a truck, and then one a dumpster, and they're all fighting you, and you have no util. Yeah, they're gonna get split in pieces, Harry. Uh, yeah, I mean, i got to say, though, it, it's another example. Like, the, the Na'Vi CT sides have looked super mobile, and I think a lot of that is coming from just having to, like, ease that cross into the site. Electronic, <laughs> enjoy the free kill, bud. Okay, it's a little more labored than I thought it would have been, but it's all well and good, because he even gets a second. Making it rain. Oh, oh hey. can't blame Simple for that one. Um, uh, you know, he did nothing. Simple did nothing wrong in that round. I will apologize for him. That's a nice shot for next. Ooh. And he's got two as well. Okay, here we go. The energy's coming back. They're starting to make the round look achievable. This is exciting to see. 60 Fruit seconds eight. on the clock. We still got those two deadly deagles and the scavenged M4 now for next. He's had two frags. How many more can he get his hands on? And how curious will Navi find themselves? MPL is getting screamed at probably like, they're coming, bro. They're coming. Perfecto drops in. Electronic plays his timings in middle. Assures his team that they will have a fight soon enough. No flash. Through the smoke. If he commits here with the MP9, he might die. But, oh, this is a good tuck for MPL. He's going to let them come his way. He gets shadow advantage as well. Here they come, one by one, and they just get the easy frag. Wow, they made that very clean. Perfecto too low to have any say in this round. And it's up to the captain to finish what he started with an ace. Oh, through the smoke, but end of the line. Big zero, force. Zero Nation with the four spy victory. Some wind in their sails, perhaps. Quite the way to respond. Not an easy task either. Not on T-side overpass. It's uh, one of the harder forces to pull up and win. Yeah, we saw Na'Vi. Think about this, right? In their first half, they had those Tech 9s and, and the AK. Back-to-back -back rounds, they had an AK. They still couldn't win it. So that's just such a huge double kill for next. And they play it perfectly. Super tight spacing out B. It is no guarantee, right? It's a classic cold map, and also it's one that Na'Vi have struggled on and kind of avoided playing for a little bit. That could be to their benefit, but... All right, the boost go. early. Free Gonna kill. try and get the monster fight for simple. Free kill. <gasps> Free... Free... Get away yeah. from him! Unlucky. He saw Lato for a moment, but He's only pissed. a couple of tags on the tippy toes and now creeping in, trying to pressure him, trying to deal with the man he tagged earlier. But Lato's gone all the way back in a spawn. This is a great play to just keep them at range, keep the pistols away from you, and take fights on your own terms. He's trying to beat them to the punch on this rotate, and he actually might. But that being said, they could still come B, and they're walking down connector right now with Lato in spawn. So, Harvey oh, again might be saving. Oh, dearie me. These are the easiest couple of rounds Zero Zero Nation have ever played. Just patience. Simple's running down. Perfecto with a 5-7 as well. The fairy tale, but it won't be a fairy tale finish for him. Instead, he's punished, but Simple on the M4. Peaks Bye. up on top. Ooh, okay. Okay. Cold Zero. Man's got the AK and he doesn't miss. Electronic tucked into the corner. The double take from next, yeah. but it still works. I love that. I love a double take check. You know, you, you, you already don't think it's clear, yeah. but at least you go back for more. And Cold Zero just boshing simple there. Zero Zero Nation, a flex B-Rush. What a call. Oh, this could be some absolute sickness. 
NPL waiting behind the smoke. They're starting to rev themselves up a little bit. Walk their way in through the short pipe. Clear all your angles. Poise yourself, boys. Utility over the top. Perfecto on the site. They bypassed it. They've already died. Brown next with the MP9. Makes a fool out of the first. Dumao has to trade it. And we're down to a three versus two. They've secured the site in seconds and bit. He's trapped up top with a util, simple. He's developing a flank, but he's coming in from the back. Are they ready for this? Oh, even if they are at this timing, this early, you'd think not. And simple might hold the shot. He might go for two kills, grabs it while he has it, but he can't double up. Now it's up to bit two low players, but Lato repeaks. And 0 0 Nation are making magic happen. I love that routing out short. They go straight to bridge and drop in pit. And Na'Vi, who have a man on the site and a man in water, are trying to fight short and monster. They do not have the setup for that. They get completely bypassed. Look at these entries. Na'Vi, none the wiser. And simple, I feel like a confident simple simple who's doing well. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have taken that shot. He would have walked out there right now. Just the pistols to play with, and they're about to get pressured. Shoulder spotted, next oh. is tagged, but NQZ commits to the fight. He even trades, and there's Dumao extending this lead in a big way, a 4v2. Perfecto still waits in the toilets. It's a heavy lean in mid, and the connector could have played the trigger discipline, but takes that fight right away. The AK Whoa. just out of arm's reach, but he will go and grab it. Still hanging around, still keen to have a bit of a say as to how this one shapes up. He's getting nervous because they haven't had info on long for so so long now. Everyone's in mid, we know that. Na'Vi oh, don't, but they're about yeah. to learn. MPL Ooh. down in the connector. The Deagle finds the first man, sees the bomb in rotation as well. And they've even got to waste a few more seconds going back to grab it. This is giving time for Perfecto to get set up in the heavens. Can oh, he deliver yeah, a going. miracle round? Ahead of the smokes, in they come. Perfecto oh. down a half as he enters the 1v1 oh. arena. He comes wow. back out swinging and robs around Na'Vi. Won't let good deeds go unpunished for long. They win out that clutch this time, and they find themselves an eighth. 2v4 as well, and that bomb pole before he was on the plant at two, he couldn't fire back. That's an unreal round for Na'Vi. They should never win that. I can't believe he gets, he double dips it, man. He plays ahead of the smoke, goes back in. Zero nation to play with. It's worth noting those three top players from last map are the three bottom players for Na'Vi, right? Bit again dead without any response available for Na'Vi, and he couldn't even take players with him. MPL gets bullied through that hole. Down to 22, simple wide, has to take that shot blind and goes back to the bomb site. Meanwhile, next gets space. This is a ballsy solo move for Nex. Oh, Dumao man. just goes through the smoke and catches an electronic blind, and they know they've got Simple right where they want him dead in the site. He's going to go back for the peak, but 0-0 zero, zero Nation. They may have lost the pistols, but they've pulled up with a 14th round. Like it or not, Na'Vi know it, and they're saving. My, oh my. Yeah, this this is legit as hell. This is really cool for Zero Zero Nation, man. Oh, and they're even hunting down these guns at the end, which is big. Like, if they get them... Oh, oh. Lato! One mag, one spray, lands the transfer. That is huge. Okay, some teams wouldn't have even hunted there. Some teams would have been like, 5v2? Cool, save our own money up. Let's Stop. just build up the bank. You know... Arguably, that is the safest way in that 5v2 to try and safeguard your future. But Zero Zero Nation are feeling confident, and yeah. they know that by removing those guns, there's nothing. There's nothing. And on pistols now, this is an unbelievable game for Zero Zero Nation. And I fear the third. I fear Mirage. I have no right to, but it scares me. It's a terrifying prospect, and a man that is absolutely terrifying incarnate is cold, Zira. He's 
He's walking his way up short. He's spamming out warning shots. Simple, though. On the other side of things with the Deagle. Knocks his block off. Leaves three of his teammates to try and claw this round back together. But the problem is the bomb's scurrying up towards A. They're going to get it planted. And Lato, he's just watching for the flank. Simple spray. And he's punishing all of them. Easy does it. And easy closer for... It can end up being, man, this could have been a 2-0. Could have been even more, but here they are trying to long it out. Trying to keep that victory assured. What a play. All the way across the three-map series. <laughs> they run down the B play, knocking the doors wide open. Na'Vi caught sleeping. And this is a quick end to this map. Doing it on the T side of overpass. What felt like such a safe bet for Na'Vi. And now the whole series, the fate of Na'Vi in the playoffs, all of it called into question with a third map waiting in the wings. Zero, zero nation, just a formality now. Electronic and bit <laughs> left to find. They boosted into heavens. The confidence is brimming. They are believing more than ever.